boom, you got those packs back in the game. They click on that icon and then all of my packs showed up. You were just preparing something in the game and then all of a sudden. Hello you guys, so today we're going to be talking about how to uninstall packs in The Sims 4. Whether we're talking about expansion packs, game packs, stuff packs, or free stuff. So here's the deal you guys. We want to completely close our game, right? And have any other app related to The Sims 4 also closed. I want you to open up your documents folder, select your electronic arts folder, right click on it, copy, and then I just want you to go onto your other disk. And you have two disks, right? I currently have one just because I haven't divided this one into two. But you most certainly have like two local disks. So you might have like C and D or C or G or C and E. Or if you don't have one, you can just paste it on your desktop. But before you do this, make sure you have enough free space. So I currently have like 100 gigabytes that's because we've uninstalled the game earlier and you can also check the size of your folder right over here right just go into properties then just paste it okay show more options and then paste we want to have a backup for this electronic arts folder why am i seeing this inside of it we have all of our mods we have all of our saves which is basically all of our families all of our progress we have all of our tray files which are basically houses lots as well as family members saved in here and we also have screenshots if you did take screenshots in the game so that's why we want to have the backup before doing anything the save method of uninstalling packs just requires uninstalling the whole game i know it's scary but trust me your electronic arts folder will still stay in the documents folder. Even though we've just backed up our electronic arts folder, we want to be completely safe. We want to have this one in the document as well as our backup, okay? And if you don't have enough free space, that's totally fine. I didn't have at some point, but I'm using this bad boy. I don't know if you can see it. It's basically an external HD. It's very accessible and if you don't have one, totally fine you can use a flash drive you can free up some space on your computer you can just also transfer your electronic arts folder to another computer to another laptop just make sure you have that backup okay we want to be safe once we've uninstalled it we're gonna click download and it's gonna prompt us to this one so let's just say you don't want any packs okay we can also click on this little arrow and select the specific packs that we want to have installed on our computer i want all of them or maybe i don't want you know tiny living or you might have vampires and vampires might piss you off at some point you can disable that you can choose whatever combo you want to have also if you don't have enough free space and if you want to you know just get rid of one particular pack that you don't like for that reason for freeing up space you know you can do that as well so let's just say you know cottage living just requires the most space on my computer so maybe i don't want to install that it's very handy that we can also see the sizes of each pack i like that so much and then you can click next and download as you can see right here like i still have my electronic arts folder even though i've uninstalled the game right but we also want to have the backup it's gonna take a while the internet is not that great but we're patient if you wanna uninstall packs as in disable packs like not have that pack enabled for a certain amount of time and if it's not bothering you in terms of like space occupied on your computer like you can disable all stuff packs you can disable all game packs you can choose to disable all expansion packs all kids you don't want to click on each and everything if you just want to play with expansion packs only and this comes in handy especially when you are doing like expansion packs only challenges or stuff packs only challenges or building with game packs only you know what i'm talking about so just restricting yourself it comes in handy and then once you've picked the packs that you no longer want to have in the game you can just copy this you can press ctrl a on your keyboard you know ctrl c to 
copy it and then i don't currently have it installed so i can do that right now i'm just gonna show you real quick it just looks like that so you just go on to properties and then in this advanced launch options you just paste like control v press control and v at the same time on your keyboard and then save it and whenever you want to re-enable those packs you're just gonna delete that whole line apply changes once again boom you got those packs back in the game now i'm just gonna quickly touch on why your sims 4 packs are not showing up so uh, because it did happen to me so i thought why not share it with you guys i was online right and in my library the sims 4 wasn't even appearing as being downloaded on my pc even though it was on my pc so i just had to click that download button even though i did have it installed already installed on my computer so i did click on that icon and then all of my packs showed up this way then i clicked next the same location you know download it was just preparing something in the game and then all of a sudden the download was complete and my game and all of my packs showed up this way in the download manager so maybe you have to click on that download button as well as you may have to update your game uh, this is what has worked for me obviously if you're logged in into an incorrect account meaning that you are not logged in into the account that you've used to purchase all of your expansion packs that may be why so you can check that by going on to settings right over here my profile and manage you can check out your purchases and everything right over there see if you've actually purchased the game using that account and actually figure out if that's the right account or not it might be a different account where you have all of your packs in case you don't know we are all about fixing the game here making mods work so here's another video that you would love to see if you liked this one I will see you guys very, very soon with a brand new video. very much of a waterfall pretty tiny lot build the whole thing build the whole ranch where we're gonna train our horse the cottage living one is the most similar to this horse's pack line